Hello and welcome to the preview for SWIFT's 2018 African Regional Conference. I'm joined now by Alan Ras, who is SWIFT's Chief Executive for Asia Pacific, Europe, the Middle East and Africa. Alan, welcome to the view from... Good afternoon, James. Good afternoon. And let me ask you about what yeah. you touched on, which is cyber security yeah. earlier yeah. on in the discussion. Um, yeah. This is obviously going to be a big topic this year at ARC. Um, you can't get away from yeah. that. So yeah. uh, the threats are rising. They're more complex. Yeah. Um, how is the financial sector really adjusting to that, do you think, from an African perspective? And, and what are the key challenges there? Well, I, th I think they, they do. I mean, uh, I think we clearly the, the case of Bangladesh that everybody has now heard about, right, is, has been a, a huge wake-up call for everybody. And, and since then, uh, we've had a, a few other cases like this, but not or of the same size. But, but, but clearly, uh, it, it just some way made sure that you now the industry is very much aware of the risk and, and the threat that we, we, we're talking about. So uh, the, the role, that, as usual, that role that we see for SWIFT is trying to combine all the force of the industry in making sure that we can work all together and try to respond to those threats uh, but that but I believe will stay, right? I mean, uh, the, the, the key thing is here is, is always to stay ahead of the game. And uh, when I say actually ahead of the game, it's actually ahead of the bad guys. That's, right. that's where we need to be right. and always striving to have the right technologies to actually keep them, keeping them away from, from where we are. So what we did is creating, this, uh, creating and launching this CSP program that we were talking already about last year that is made us all, out of a certain number of major pillars, out of which one of the key is the, the security guidelines we have, the 16 security principles. And last year, we've been very much busy to making sure that each and every of our institutions, the 11,000 that we're talking about, will be self-attesting against those 16 um, uh, mandatory uh, principles, and eventually also on, a, on to an, an additional 11, which are more um, uh, advisory uh, right. principles we have. And we actually went all of our way, uh, we went, I don't know to how many countries, but many, many. We've been running you know, hundreds and hundreds of roadshows. We've been reaching out to thousands of clients. And actually, to not to my surprise, actually, I mean, uh, it's, it's been quite an amazing journey, but we've managed actually to reach about a 90% of self-attestation rate. 90% is about literally 10,000 institutions that went actually to really self-attesting. I do believe that only an institution like Swift can do that. I mean, you can go all the way and look at many other companies like ours and all that, but getting an environment, a community where basically everybody agrees to do that kind of job, right, is literally amazing. And a company like Swift, a community like Swift, is clearly a factor that can enable actually this, this attention. Now, of course, it's not the end of the journey. I mean, they have self-attested, okay? The next major milestones will be at the end of this year, and there, actually, they'll have to demonstrate that they are compliant to those right. 16 principles. That's gonna be another part of the journey. That's the next step on the we'll, we'll go also out of our way uh, to, to helping them to achieving this, but at the same time, what we wanna do is that we've created a, an ecosystem whereby sort of a, the, the, the institutions should be self-regulating themselves, right? They should actually play the role of making sure that each and every of the counterparties becomes compliant to those principles and therefore can keep working with the, with the others. So that, that is the environment that we've, uh, we've defined all together. It, it's really a, something that is massive and, and I do believe that it's also reinforcing one of the key pillars of SWIFT. I mean, I used to say to my guys like, that, uh, at SWIFT is that when I joined the company, we were already talking about security. We were not talking about cyber at the time we were talking about security, right? But it was already the key pillar of all value positions. And that stayed actually for the last, the, the last 40 years or so. And, and, and it should stay in the future. And, and really the role we have is stay ahead of the technologies, stay ahead of the, the bad guys, and making sure that the, the community keep converging into achieving And that this. collaboration is key. Yeah. And, and, and it is even more perhaps in, uh, in Africa and Middle East, right, where you have many more countries. Um, there are places actually that are perhaps, I mean, from a state of development more, more difficult. It's coming there, but, but the, the level of awareness, the communication is, needs, is key. And, and that's why actually um, the teams of CEDO that you've talked to and all that, these people actually are very much actually um, are working very hard to making sure that the communication is getting there, that people understand what it is about and can react appropriately as well. Okay, well, Alan, thank you very much for your My time pleasure. today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.